Hi, uh, it's me again. Um, today I am attempting for the first time to disengage. Disengage? What am I talking about? I sound like uh, Star Trek. Um, I'm trying to take off my front brake caliper and replace the brake pads. Um, so, for my setup, I have a little bungee cord thing that's hooked onto my light because I took that off, but basically. According to everybody else, you've got to have something to hang this from, uh, hang something from, so you can hang your uh, caliper uh, from it when you take it off, because you can't have it dangling by that guy. Okay, so according to the instructions, I've got to remove this nut, which is, oh, it's really hard to see with this. Uh, it's this little guy right here, I believe, that I'm pointing to behind the reflector. Okay, I used a 10 millimeter socket um, to remove that. Oh, I've got like a hornet's nest in there or something. Um, anyway, 10 millimeter socket to remove that and you can see it just swings out like that from back there. And obviously you want to keep track of your nuts. Okay, so now we're going to remove these two bolts. This one here and this one here. Now this requires a number six uh, hex key, hex wrench, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, um, you remove the bottom first. Other people are so much quicker at this than I am. But hey, at least I'm making a video, right? Okay. There we go. Now, according to plan, everything should just kind of slip off here. Hooray! Wow! Okay, so from a lot of research, I tend to do a ton of research on this stuff because I want to figure out what's going to be the best for the money. After a lot of research, uh, I figured out or uh, I found that the general consistent or er, consensus was that the actually the OAM Kawasaki brake pads were the best. Okay, now apparently uh, this whoop, this little tiny bolt right here is uh, not actually a bolt, but it's a pin thing. So you're supposed to turn it until you can find the top of your little. There's like a little hair hairpin, I don't know what I'm talking about. There's a little um, thing up in there. Sorry, the angle is a little bit wonky. So look, you can see the little you can see the tiny little legs of the pin. Man, if my camera didn't suck, you could see them better. You can see the little legs of the pin in there. Um, so I'm gonna turn it out turn it around so I can pull that out so I can remove this pin. I'm gonna try to turn that around. Oh, I got the little, the head part right, right here. I'm just gonna lift it out. Yeah, I did it. There it is. Noob, to the ultimate sweetness. All right. Okay, so now that that pin is out, I can hopefully lift this little guy out. Whoop. Maybe just fingers would be a better idea here. During this video, there's so many that's what she said moments. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so that's coming out. You can see it's lifting out. Um, I'll just try to kind of ease it. Ease it out some more. Man, if you're watching this video and you're a mechanic or somebody who knows what they're doing and you see me doing something stupid, please comment. You're not being a troll. You're being helpful. You're helping other newbies like myself um, fix their motorcycles not get charged an arm and a leg for it then again if you are a mechanic and you like to charge us an arm and a leg then you probably don't like the idea that we are uh, wow look at that you don't like the idea that we're doing this ourselves um, but if you're a cool mechanic then you'll be alright with it okay so man that all that got all buggered out Oh, there we go. So that just kind of flips down in there. Now it says something about pushing so the piston is uh, compressed. 
and so your new pads will fit on. And I have an idea that that means to flip this off, and then, ah, oh, yeah, see how I did that? Um, flip it off, take this off, isn't there supposed to be a warning strip or something on there? Geez, I don't even have one. That's looking pretty bare. Anyway, done with that, so now I guess I want to push this part towards this part to do something with that piston. I wonder if that's even, if I can even do it with my bare hands. Some other guy in a different video I saw with a different bike uh, was using a C-clamp, and maybe that's a better idea. I feel like I'm just pushing against nothing here. Well, maybe it's going. All right. <clears throat> so it says to lubricate this pin here. This is the one that I pulled out of this hole here. Um, it says to lubricate that pin, I'm going to use my old friend WD-40. Now, some people are gonna, probably going to comment and say, WD-40 is terrible. You know what? They might be right. I have no idea. But it says to lubricate this pin, so I'm going to do it um, with WD-40. It is the, I don't know, it's a lubrication, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, lubrication. All right, anyway. So I'm going to let that sit for a little bit now. Uh, it says that once that thing's fully depressed, I should be able to just kind of lift it out. Uh, and there's like a little L-shape thing in there. So I'm, ass I'm assuming that this is the L-shape thing that they're talking about right in there. Um, so let's see how easy or difficult this is to get out of there. Oh, not hard at all. So now that we've got that done, um, it's time to put on the new stuff. So let's give that a try. <clears throat> so here's my gold beauty. Um, I'm just going to kind of cram that down in there. And uh, hope that this, hope that it works. That's, that's how it goes. It sits in there. It looks right. I mean, it doesn't look like I'm ruining anything, does it? Uh, and then I'll just kind of seat that down so that the, so that the, you know, this hole, that pin can go all the way through. Uh, anyhow, it says that it might be easier to put that through and line it up in the beginning and then do the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, now for the next part of the brake pad. Man, look how much thicker these are. Boom, that's like... What was I riding on before? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, probably a little bit unsafe. So let's see, that went on like that, right? And then swung over, kind of like that. Is that right? Okay. I'm gonna shove that down in there, and that down in there too. And there's a little bit of a springy feeling. There's this bounces, right? So there's a little bit of a springy feeling in there. Um, now let's see if we can get this pin in. It's probably going to be the... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was just about to say, this is probably going to be the hardest part of the video. Not so much. Um, now, do you think this is going to fit on my brake pad like that? Or my uh, rotor? I don't know. We shall find out. Anyway, uh, time to put that little pin in there, and then uh, we'll see how it works. There. All right, um, got to twist that so I can see the little hole that the that the uh, thing goes into. Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry, you didn't see any of that, but if you can see there. See that little tiny hole in there? Right there. That's where I want that that, that little pin to go. Um, so I'll stick it right in there. Push it down. That seems about how it was when I started. So that seems good. And when I started, this was hidden. So I'll go ahead and hide it. I'll just move it out of the way so that I don't know if this is right or not. Um, 
to hide this or whatever. I don't know if this is right or not uh, to have this thing flopping around like this. I'd imagine that it is. Um, well, actually, by all common sense, I'd imagine that it isn't. But, since I've followed the directions exactly how it said to, uh, then I sh that should work. Anyway, um, let's fit it back on the uh, rotor. I'll get the camera situated a little better so you can see that. Okay, so you know how earlier I was talking about an L-shape. Well, I actually went back and double-checked. And I think the L-shape that they're talking about... Let me get something pointy so you can see. I think the L-shape that they're talking about is this little tiny thing right there. And if your, if your pad fits into that little L-shaped scoopy thing, then you're good. So it's either that or it's this kind of section behind here. Either one. Okay, so here we go. I want to demonstrate to you guys. Here we've got a fail. So what I'm going to try to do is open this up and uh, put that back on there. Now see, that's just, there's, that's not going about again. Yeah, because there's no possible way that that's going to go on like that. Um, maybe those are, I don't know. Anyway, and it seems like it should fit. It's just right at the edge of fitting. Oh, goodness sakes. <laughs> okay, so when, when you're all in doubt and whatnot, uh, don't give up because that fit on there. So now I'm going to torque it up to 18 foot-pounds. Let's see. There we go. And 18 foot-pounds here too. My guess is that the last person who torqued these really uh, kind of went crazy. There we go. <sighs> kind of went crazy on it. Anyway, uh, there it is. Um, now I'll just install install re uh, install the light which fell off that just goes through there the light my goodness I'm getting better at this stuff I'm not the reason why I'm doing this is so I don't suck at it in the future when it matters you know um, tighten that up switch that There we go. Snug. Just like it says. Snug. There we go. Um, so, that should do. I'm just gonna... Yeah. That's not going anywhere. Um, let's see if it'll roll. Yeah. That's a brake pad that I installed by myself. Awesome. Well, thanks for helping me out. All of you internet people, you're great. Appreciate all the help. And uh, hopefully I'm helping somebody out here too. Have a good one. And we'll see you in another video.